We were all shocked last December when Alan Thicke died suddenly from a ruptured aorta. And now we're shocked all over again that his surviving family members are getting into a nasty court battle over what Alan left behind. As we heard yesterday, Alan's two oldest sons, Brennan and Robin Thicke, have filed a petition to protect Alan's legacy from the scheming ways of his greedy widow, Tanya Callow. At least, that's how their side of the story goes. According to court documents, Alan had a living trust, and he left 40% of his estate to Tanya and the other 60% to be split equally between his three sons. He left his home, his ranch in California, to his children, but specified that Tanya could continue living there if she maintained the property. Tanya also received the money from Alan's life insurance policy, all of his benefits and pensions and 25% of his personal belongings, his sons got the other 75%. Sounds fair, right? It also sounds like Alan was very specific about what he wanted to happen to his fortune after his death. But according to the petition, Tanya has been claiming that there are issues with the trust, as well as with the prenup she signed when she married Alan. She is allegedly demanding more of Alan's estate. And has been threatening to take her story to the tabloids if Brennan and Robin don't give her what she wants. Because of all of this new information, Tanya has been raked through the mud by pretty much everyone who's read the story. She's been called a filthy gold digger, a money-hungry bitch, all kinds of nasty things. So it makes sense that Tanya went to TMZ with her own story. As she tells it, she's not a gold digger at all. She loved Alan deeply throughout their 11-year marriage. She loved him so much, she says, that they were planning on having a baby together before his untimely death. The plan was for her to get pregnant this year after Alan's youngest son, 19-year-old Carter, moved out of the house. They'd had her eggs frozen three years ago, and 2017 was to be the year for a new thick baby. At the beginning of December, what had to be just days before his death, they brought an architect to the ranch to begin work on a nursery. Tanya also says that she never threatened to go to the tabloids as Brennan and Robin claim, and TMZ adds that she's calling BS on the claims that she's being greedy. It's unclear if she actually is trying to win more than what Alan set aside for her in his trust. Just when you thought this story couldn't get any sadder, right?